Okay, so we're, what do we, you want to do like a transition? Yeah. Here we are. Fast forward 15 days. Pow! Okay. Boom! But wait, hold on. Hold on, let's try it again. Pow! That's not working. Wait. Boom shakalaka! Now you need. Kazam! Wasted the whole morning. <sighs> Mail time. Oh, that is so small. Paid 30 bucks for this. Sad panda. What are you cutting? Oh, down there. No, I don't know what I'm cutting. We're down to the last wire. We started to prep the engine bay, we started to sand everything down in here, pull out the old existing wiring um, to box it up and send it over to Mark Panic. Yeah. Right. So we just pulled out the E36 chassis harness um, that is for the stock motor. Now we've got room to clean this area up and paint it. We put some uh, reflective heat tape, and uh, it's just nice to get all that extra crap out of here. It well, looks so much cleaner in here, doesn't it? Yeah. You know what would have been better what? is if instead of going to bed at 5 a.m., if we had went to bed at a normal hour and came back early this morning, we would have got the same amount of work done, but we wouldn't have wasted the whole morning. But had we done that, we would have wasted the whole night. Sleeping? <laughs> Zach, what what we gotta do today? We gotta get you a two terabyte hard drive. We gotta get me a two terabyte hard drive. We gotta go bring these Volker AT37 wheels to the Lexus ability to get them painted, refinished. We gotta start filming the painting of the felony form over fenders, the front bumper, the front grill, and then we gotta come back. Do a little bit more work in here. Get this thing real, real nice and prepped black to uh, put in the new LS harness and the new LS motor in here. Can you grab this? You can see we got a little rash on this, and that ain't no good for SEMA. That ain't gonna be no good for SEMA, I tell you what, that ain't gonna be no good for SEMA. So, you need to repaint the whole wheel. It's that edge. That's why I always carry, carry snowboard gloves with me. <laughs> Look at that stance now. Dang, boy. A set of wheels and you can stance your car. Where are we going? I hop. First? Well, we should probably go like stability first. Because you told me to be there within the hour. We are here at Lexus in Bellevue. We are now both vlogging. Front the wheels? Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. 
see, I called about the hard wines. You got at least ten dollars. Uh, the tea? Yeah. Gotcha. Can't film back here. Of course I can't. Uh, this is where we come when we have no fucking idea what we need. <laughs> it's all standard. I didn't think it was, but apparently I'm wrong. Hey, well, let's go out front and check. Congratulations, it is all SAE. What the? F Are you sure? Uh huh. I'm just gonna use. I'm gonna use the materials we have. So we're doing this ghetto style. I got you. Yeah. Style. Yeah. Zwing style. I'm zwinging it. So we're gonna rethread our uh, our T fitting for our brake lines. One of the most important systems in the car. If I feel confident after we rethread this, we'll rethread this. We'll use it. Oh, is that you? Feel free to. Give me a fish dragon in the parking lot. Do you have a pen? <laughs> I'm just gonna use this. You have a piece of paper somewhere? Here. <laughs> uh, s sir, this is the brake booster what you needed? They just let you back here and buy your own parts? Yeah. I just usually give myself a really good discount. <laughs> I take the phone. Shitty customer, Zach, returns used electronics and fuel pumps to other O'Reilly's <laughs> that Drew won't return for him. True story. Come back and see us. See you, man. Later, bud. We took apart some of the interior to install the hydro, kind of just for cosmetic purposes for SEMA because we didn't have all the fittings with us. Removing the center console here. That way we can make room for our new uh... Hydro e -brake. Yes, sir! Oh, is this the Ken Block Ninja Sword? Yep. <gasps> <laughs> Alright, well what else do you need for a Hydro, Johnny? What? A booster of some sort. A, a what? Well, I mean, a, a, it's a master cylinder. You need a master cylinder for your master handle. For your Kenny Blocks Dude, this thing sword. is literally a Ninja Sword handle. This is so sicky, bro. Jared, help me open this. You should open it more like Casey Neistat with like a giant knife and just damage whatever you're unboxing. <laughs> what we gotta do is we gotta put the lever right here, pen blocks off. Actually, no, because little do you know. Okay, so we're putting this way back exactly. here. Exactly. We're gonna mount this in about five seconds. <laughs> How many, how many subscribers on YouTube do you think have that are under the age of 16? Under 16? This Actually, not quite a lot. This is gonna revolutionize the drift scene. Cause this is how easy it is to install hydro e-brake in your car. Step one, get sicky e-brake. Step two, get Johnny to come over and rip your center console out. Step three, screw Sp in your hydro. <laughs> Done. One, two, three. <laughs> you don't have to connect any hard lines. Nothing. This is, this is fully functional. <laughs> Do you bolt this like up here? It actually attaches to the roll cage. So you have a roll cage like this, and then you just kind of bend the slave cylinder forward like that. When this shows up at SEMA, people are like, oh man, that's so sick. And they'd be like, Johnny Tokyo already touched that. Does it go here? How, how are you gonna mount it? I'm almost doing well. Take you. This is the Ken Gushi stance. You should probably put like a 10 inch spacer on this thing so it's up here. You know, I have a feeling that because Siki made this for the 36, definitely has to go up. I bet you it goes right here. We need to pull this out. It doesn't go here. It goes here. You think? Siki would not make a hydraulic e brake that eliminates window buttons. That's true. Siki, if you're watching this, I got you. I know what you're thinking. It goes right there. <laughs> goes right there. Drift mode. Boom. Because race cars don't have cup holders or armrests. I know this. That's true. I saw one on TV once. I watched tons of Formula E. I know all about it. This is the Huna cap. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> the Hunavert. The Hunavert. This Sounds is like the center of the Hunaverts. Do that again? One more time? Well, the third time, please. <laughs> One more time, just for good measure. <laughs> now three in a row. <laughs> now three more. <laughs> Sicky, brah. 
his wing film. Nice to see you. It's so bright. Too bright? Yeah, too bright. All right, how's this? Dramatic stop. I'm gonna drive back to Canada. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna sit inside the engine and say, the car is gonna be done. And then you'll see a shot of the motor running. What's today? Today? Yeah. October 15th. October 15th, 2016. Fast forward to the 31st. It'll actually be sick. Okay. But you realize that now that you've done that, you have to send me footage at the exact same angle. Yeah. No, it'll happen. It'll happen. All right. Okay. It's easy, man. Oh. Uh, Safe drive. Thanks for helping out, man. Bye E36. Bye Crate Motor. Bye Tremec. Bye Zwing Films. Okay, bye.